There was once a short-lived branch line in the Riverland that was completed but never used. The Chowler Line was built in the 60s in preparation for the Chowler Dam project in South Australia. Information is kind of hard to come by, so I'll share what I have found with you here on YouTube. Chowler Dam was to be a massive water storage project on the Murray River near the Victorian border. A dam wall nearly six kilometres long was to be built in South Australia, but the water behind it would have stretched upstream into Victoria and New South Wales. One early feature of this Chewilla Dam was a branch line from the Barmera Railway Line to bring rock to the dam wall site. The rail line was dismantled without ever actually being used to haul any rock. The dam construction was going to need a lot of rock, which would be transported by rail from 240 kilometres away at Kinchina Siding near Murray Bridge. The South Australian Railways were engaged to transport the rock and a 27 kilometre railway line was built, branching from the Barmera Line not far east of Paringa at a location named Honora. 60 FCD class flat cars were built at the Islington Railway Workshops to carry skips that could be taken off the train by crane to move the rock to where it was needed. A few 930 class locomotives were also ordered and may have led the test trains. In the meantime, the SA Engineering and Water Supply Department and others began to raise serious environmental concerns. The dam would cover over 500 square kilometres in New South Wales, 427 in Victoria and only 117 in South Australia. It would be very shallow, with evaporation estimated at 1,000 gigalitres and rising a year. This was bad enough, but the effect on groundwater would intensify salinity issues and could have had devastating effects on nearby South Australian riverland towns. Another concern was that the dam would flood wetlands in the areas of what would become Chowler Game Reserve, Chowler Regional Reserve and Murray Sunset National Park. By 1969, after a lot of politicking, the River Murray Commission recommended that an alternative dam be built at Dartmouth in Victoria. Legislation ratifying this agreement was passed in the Australian New South Wales and Victorian Parliaments in 1970 and passed in the South Australian Parliament in 1971. The Dartmouth Dam was built in the mid-70s while the Chowler project was shelved. Work to remove the line began in September 1972 and the rails were used to upgrade the Wakery line relayed around the Karunda to Copeville area. The flat cars were converted and sold. Online research led me to some forums where a few contributors pondered whether or not the line had ever been operational. Uh, one commenter did mention that he saw at least one train with one, possibly two flatbeds, make the trip out to Chewilla to test the track. He said uh, his dad was in charge of the construction that they lived at Chowler in the mid-60s, uh, as did several other families and a number of uh, workmen residing in the camp. The Chowler branch line is the most short-lived and elusive line I've ever researched. I know I say there's nothing left, a lot, but this time there is literally nothing, except for the remains of in some embankments and cuttings where the line branches from the Barmer line. As far as I know, there's no public access to the actual location of the end of the line. Images have also been hard to come by. If you have any memories or images that you'd like to share, just drop them in the comments below. If you liked the video, then please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you liked. And subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're keen to see more of these videos on railway history. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.